All right, let's talk about some Godzilla X Kong because we had some interesting things pop up. So I'm just going to say right now, minor spoiler warning. If you've been keeping up with the Godzilla stuff, I think you're already aware of this. It's just a different look at the big villain in the movie because it's not just going to be uh, Scar King. There's another person in there. We got a better look at them. And we've also gotten the popcorn buckets of what they're going to look like. So we're going to take a look at that stuff here. So this was revealed, uh, I think, on a T-shirt. This uh, Shimu one off to the side here. And it basically gives you what it's gonna, what the villain is going to look like for sure in the actual Godzilla X-Kong movie. Off to the side here is what we just been looked like on the toy packaging. And that's a nice, interesting shot of Shimu. Um, I don't exactly love it. Especially when I saw, like, the toys and I saw how long the arms are. I'm like, oh, geez. But, again, Shimu is supposed to be, like, the first kaiju titan on Earth. It's supposed to be the one responsible for the Ice Age. If you even go back to, like, the Godzilla movies and Ghidorah's frozen in ice, it's said that Shimu is the one that locked away Ghidorah, which I think is just a cool add-on to the lore and everything like that. You know I'm excited for Godzilla x -Kong. You know, I think them. I'm, I love that the movie looks like a Saturday morning cartoon. It got goofy and colorful. I already saw Godzilla minus one. I'm okay with goofy and colorful. Shimu's looking a little too goofy for me. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this. It's like, uh, I guess I would have preferred something a little bit more Godzilla looking. I think just having, these aren't even arms really. It's, he's just got four legs, right? So Shimu here looks a little, I don't know. A little ed to me. I, I'm not exactly... Why is he in four legs? I guess that's what he's going to be like. He's going to be walking around on four legs. I'm sure there's going to be moments like in this middle picture where he'll stand up Godzilla style and he'll have the reach. I mean, in boxing, they'll teach you reach is important. If you got long arms and you can reach your opponent, that gives you an advantage because you can reach and punch and still stay back enough to where your opponent can't hit. Godzilla got them tiny arms. Right? This is Godzilla all day, every day. That's why I thought Kong was going to whoop his butt, but Godzilla was cheating. I say that just to piss off the Godzilla fans, okay? We're, we're all having fun here. <laughs> but that's what's going to happen, Godzilla. Kong. He's going to have his little arms trying to hit Shimu, go, bah, bah, bah. And then Shimu's going to go, like some sort of anime villain right there. Uh, the freeze breath, I'm also curious to see how that's going to work. Uh, how effective is the freeze breath? Because there could be some really cool scenes. Can you just imagine Kong trying to come at him and then a freeze breath his hand and he's like, oh. But then he's got like a freeze icicle punch? Dude. That's the Saturday morning cartoon flavor I am loving about Godzilla x Kong. That's the fun I get to have here. So if I'm being honest with you guys, don't exactly love the look uh, of this creature and all that. I think also the blue hue is ruining it for me because I do want to see what the spikes look like. Because the spikes look, could, do look kind of badass, especially like here. It looks like icicles sticking out of his body and stuff like that. That looks really cool. I, I, I do think that's awesome. And maybe that, that's kind of what's ruining it for me. And it seems like he has a pinkish hue in some of these, but that could just be from Godzilla's evolution form and the toy packaging kind of ruining all that. Uh, I'm just going to be more curious how this creature is connected to Scar King. You know, there's been rumors that Scar King can kind of control Shimu or like, I don't know, aim it, use it as a weapon. Uh, it's going to be hard to believe like the first Titan who put Ghidorah away in this ice prison is then listening to Scar King over here and they're teaming up like evil villains. That whole section of the movie, is, it's, it's got me wondering. But right now, like I said, I, I'm not loving Shimu's look, but this is just off a t-shirt kind of a messed up hue it's mainly the arms or i should say legs messing it up for me it's uh it's okay it's okay like like i actually think this bottom left toy looks the coolest uh but we'll see we'll see about that so aside from that we also were given uh some popcorn buckets so godzilla let's see if i can find it because it was all over the web bucket or maybe i should just write bucket I know. Oh, I think Grace Randolph was the one who tweeted it. Oh no, she tweeted the guy, the Ghostbusters one. I'm gonna find it here. Give me two seconds, guys. I know it's here. I know it's here. Godzilla. I'll just have to search it. Godzilla X Kong. Because I'm like, okay, that's, 
that's kind of cool. Where are they? Here's some. Let's 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 change it so we can see from. I think it's this past week, right? Oh, here we are, buddy. Here we are, buddy boy. So we got some toppers coming on. Oh, what's it? Oh, look at that. You could have a double straw, dude. If you want a late Valentine's date that's going to go well, you buy this cup, double straw it up. It doesn't have to just be with your girl. You take your homie to see Godzilla X Kong. He dresses like Kong. You dress like Godzilla. You share this cup. You're sipping on it going, <laughs> you make eye contact. If they could learn to be friends, maybe we can learn to be lovers. Oh, Godzilla X Kong is going to make so many beautiful relationships happen. It's going to be awesome. We got this this other one here. Oh, look how tiny that is. I need I need that to be bigger. Let's see if we can make it bigger. Okay, here we go. So we got we got this. Oh, oh, look at these toppers, bro. These look so cool. You got Scar King with his whip. Scar King's going to be whipping people. I can't wait to see him use that whip, especially since it's just made of bones. How strong can that whip be? You have Kong here looking traumatized as heck. Look at the zoom in on those eyes and mouth, dude. I can't wait to see him use that beast arm because we found out recently from the toy leak that arm isn't just going to be a cast. It could be a cast. He could have gotten his arm broken, but the arm is actually supposed to be an enhancement. It's supposed to give him like really powerful punches. I can't wait to see that in action. And then you have Godzilla over here looking like he kind of got a beach tan going on. He looks a little bit more orangey or tannish here. He's got still the pink back. They, these little toppers obviously aren't going to be that accurate. I mean, look at Rick and Scar King's little bimbo teeth here. Hey, I'm going to whip you. I'm going to whip you real good. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, like I said, me and the homie, me and the homie. Oh, okay, this popcorn bucket's kind of cool. So this is like a monarch-inspired uh, hologram monolith kind of thing. That's not bad. I'm, I'm hoping for something more badass. Like, how badass would it be to get a popcorn bucket from that 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 beast arm of Kong? You open it from the fist, and then you eat from it. And that would also be a cool collectible to just, like, keep it all there. But this is nice. Not, not, not a bad popcorn bucket. Not a bad popcorn bucket. Here we got some other ones again. Where we got... Okay, Godzilla and Shimu, Kong and Scar King. That's obviously how it's going to go down, right? Like, they're basically fighting opposites of each other in this movie. So, Scar King represents opposite King Kong, and Shimu represents opposite Godzilla. So, do we have Godzilla fight Shimu, or do we have Kong fight Shimu and Godzilla fight Scar King? And then they both defeat those enemies in a way telling the audience, I can defeat Godzilla if I wanted to. I can defeat King Kong if I wanted to. Now we're here, man. Hollywood, hire me. And look at this little, little cute little tray for your kids. That's adorable. That's awesome, man. I can't wait. I'm sure we're going to get so much more merch. This is just kind of like the standard for, like, the local theaters. I doubt this is going to be, like, the AMC or Cinemark exclusive one. They got to be doing something more like that. But in the end, like I tell you guys, we're getting this. Me and the homies, we're getting this, and we're having a good old time. Don't you tell anybody. Don't you tell anybody. Is that it? And just for kicks and giggles, we did get the the uh, the Ghostbuster ones, which also look cool. I like the Slimer top, the little ghost. Set. Like, even that metal. I'm not much of a metal bucket collector, but I love the art on there with Slimer. That's so cool. I love this kind of stuff. And, like, even my TikTok show up. That's so funny. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, it's looking good. Oh, is there going to be a, a Godzilla meal? Oh, it's a Japan thing. I, uh, I think I saw it on Twitter. Yo, that'd be so cool if they did a collab with one of those. Oh, this is cool. Or oh, is that from the last movie? King versus Kong. Hmm. Good stuff. Good stuff, guys.